Frederick. I'm the Director of Policy and Strategy at CQC. And in this short video, we'll be sharing some updates on our regulatory model. So we've made huge efforts over the past year to develop our new regulatory model. We are moving away from what we currently do, which is monitor, inspect and rate to a more flexible approach. So our inspections will not set the frequency and we will have far more ongoing assessment of quality, which will be proportionate to risk. This means we are able to give a far more up to date view of quality. I've previously talked about ambition to re reduce the number of assessment frameworks we have and reduce the duplication that we have. We have four currently and we have now reduced it to one, our new single assessment framework. This means we will use that assessment framework to assess quality for all service types at all levels, including our local authority assessments and our integrated care system. Having a single assessment framework allows us to be more consistent and streamlined in our approach. There's some key elements of our new regulatory model that I do want to tell you about. Um, the first is the four ratings that we currently have will remain and the five key questions that we use remain central to our approach. Registration becomes our first assessment and is part of our single assessment framework and we will register services at the level of good. Our key lines of inquiry and our rating characteristics will be replaced by quality statements and these quality statements are based on people's experiences. We will have evidence categories which will be populated by best practice for different types of providers and what we know about systems and we will score evidence that we collect and this supports greater consistency in our approach. The outcome of our work will be that our reports will be simpler and shorter and far more clear about the quality of care that we have found. So people and communities and the health and care they receive must be what drives us as a regulator. So I've said before that our five key questions remain at the heart of our approach. So we really do want to understand our services safe, effective, caring, responsive and well led for people. So we've strengthened our five key questions with I statements and these I statements articulate what good person care looks and feels like. And we've done and developed these I statements through co-production and work previously done with TLAP uh, think Local, Act Personal, National Voices and the Coalition of Collaborative Care on Making It Real. So these I statements are clear about the standards of care that people should expect and they support the structured approach to how we gather feedback from people using services. The we statements or quality statements that we use for providers are based on these I statements. So they are articulating what providers should, should be doing based on what people have said are a good experience of care. So there's so much of our regulatory model that is exciting, um, but if I were to uh, boil it down to three things, the first is that we've listened and worked with people, providers, our partners to develop a way of working that supports improvement. The second is our new regulatory model, uh, the approach that we've taken will allow us to be far more transparent about what we do and how we operate so that people and others are clear about the judgments we are making about the quality and safety of services. And the third um, and probably most importantly is that the heart of our assessment is people's experiences and the standards of care that they should expect. We know um, it's a very challenging health and social care environment and we recognise the context which services are operating, but it's more important than ever really to articulate what those services are like for people so that risk can be mitigated and people receive good quality care. Mm -hmm.